70 years in celebration of Auschwitz in January 27th. And those few survivors that are still around, they say they haven't experienced any of this since the Holocaust, what they now feel here in Sweden. So to see Swedish police outside a Jewish institution with machine guns, that's, uh, that's unique. From the far left, from the far right, right now the main threat is from the Islamists. Some of our youngsters knew the guy who was murdered. And uh, so the fact that it happened to, you know, so close and to someone that we are, that we know, uh, is of course a terrible blow. I think right now the response has been uh, extremely good. Finally, after Paris, and after me and some others screaming and shouting, which we do have to do, uh, there is a completely different understanding. There was a suicide bomber who failed in the center of Stockholm. But if he wouldn't have failed, there would have been hundreds of casualties. I think uh, Sweden is slowly waking up, but uh, it's not the end. It's just the beginning.